Joined now by the All-American, former All-American, University of Arizona linebacker, Scooby Wright, who's going to be entering the NFL draft coming up here in a, about a month. It's coming up really quick. And Scooby, I promise off the top, I'm not going to ask you if you think that your mom is attractive. I'll just ask you overall <laughs> how the combine was. What was your overall takeaway from having that experience? I mean, um, I mean it was an experience. I mean, every experience is has to be a good one it just depends how you look at it but um things really uh i mean it was cool i mean i had a good experience i met with probably over 18 teams of uh, gms and stuff I had a bunch of uh meetings with the teams and um i mean it was the grind i mean i was there's no way to simulate the combine and just like all the medicals and the mris and x-rays they put me through and stuff but it worked out though Scooby, you know, you, you come out of high school, you play a few years in college, but this all kind of happens really fast from when you first leave high school to the point you are now. Have you had, through this whole process, a moment where you kind of take a step back and kind of have an out-of-body experience as if to say, like, wow, this is really happening. I'm, I'm talking to these NFL players, the, these NFL teams, these personalities, these coaches. Is it, is it kind of surreal to you at times, or are you just kind of putting your head down and grinding? Uh, I mean, the, actually, it's kind of funny you ask that. I mean, yesterday, uh, I got done talking with my agent, and uh, we had a good, good conversation through Rosenhaus and stuff, and um, we were talking about um, where I'm projected and stuff, because he's, he's doing his job and talking to teams and getting info from me. And um, he was like, yeah, you'll definitely be a day two pick, uh, definitely somewhere in the, in the two to three rounds. And I was like, at first, I was like, damn, okay, whatever. And then I, when I sat down and I sat back for a minute, I was like, I'm going to be drafted in the NFL draft. I'm going to be playing football for a living. And yeah. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. I mean, I, was, I walked through my house and stuff because I'm back home in Northern California and I see pictures of me playing ball and, uh, when I was a little kid and then high school and then college. And it's like, wow, this is, it's been a journey, but I'm excited for it. So Scooby, you did the you did the combine, and then you went back to U of A for pro day. But before pro day starts, I hear this story that that all of a sudden you're going to stay at Cody Ippolito's house and Trevor Woods' house, and you you show up at their house, and apparently Cody Ippolito was being robbed by someone who <laughs> I, who it couldn't have been you, right? It couldn't have been someone else. Someone was robbing his house on the night that you were supposed to stay there. Yeah. So uh, my flight gets delayed at like. So about like, I don't know, I was supposed to take off like seven o'clock from the, from the San Francisco airport. And I don't end up taking off till about 11 o'clock and I don't get into to Tucson probably about till 1.30, 1.45. And then uh, Trevor Wood picks me up from the airport. And I was like, hey, let's go to your house real quick. So I went to his house and stuff and I was, went to go, went to go like uh, scare, went to go wake up Cody. <laughs> and, um. I walk into Cody's house, walk into Cody and Trevor's house, and walk in, and uh, like I kind of kick open Cody's door because it's kind of locked a little bit. <laughs> I kick it open, and then Cody's sitting up in his room. Lights are off, but he has the clicker getting ready. To, has has his remote getting ready to chuck it at somebody. He's like, dude, if it wasn't you, I would have. She said I would have stabbed you to death with the remote. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, you made it seem like to him that his house was getting robbed in the middle of the night in Tucson. Oh, yeah, no, 100%. That's amazing. And this was all leading up to pro day in the middle of the night, leading up to, to a, basically a, an extra job interview? Yeah, it was, I got there like, I got there like four, I got there like four days before the, before the, before the pro day. So, yeah, I mean, it was, it was my first night there, and I just wanted to say hi to my friends. So it was pretty cool. When you've discussed with these teams, with the, whether it's at the Combine or, or at the Pro Days or if you've visited teams, uh, how do they see you at the next level? What are, what are some of the intangibles that you bring? What kind of systems do you feel like you fit well with? And, and what, kind of, uh, what kind of, I don't know, little things that you feel like you've picked up on through this process that maybe you didn't know about yourself, but you feel like you could be successful with at the next level? Um. I mean, I realized that I was a smart football player, but I didn't realize how smart of a football player I really was. I mean, I knew it was something I pride myself on and stuff. And But every team I've ever talked to and stuff, they're like, yeah, that was some of the best board work we've ever seen. So that was probably the biggest thing I've, I've learned for myself and kind of took away from it, you know, if that makes sense. Absolutely. You know, your, your senior year, Scooby, you have to sit – almost the whole season minus a, a few games from the sidelines how much 
How difficult was that, first of all? And do you think an element of sitting out as much as you did and having to kind of take in the game as a spectator kind of helped you in the classroom and helped you on the boards and, and, and maybe in that regard? Well, yeah, no, I definitely do 100%. I mean, um, when I was hurt, I still went to all the meetings and stuff and did all that. And um, I some, some games I had a headset on, so I really got to sit down and or not sit down. I was on the sidelines, but... Um, just to hear what was going on and really I was able me and Cody Apolito were pretty much we could be probably six six seven for ten for calling out the plays that were going to be run hmm. interesting stuff and and let's talk about the the last game that you played in a U of A uniform is in the New Mexico Bowl it was a very emotional day for you you announced right when the game <laughs> ended that you were going to be uh, declaring for the draft how how long before that game did you know that you would be declaring? And, and how nice was it to be able to get out on the field and kind of wrap up your career in the way that you were able to? Um, I mean, I really didn't know that I was going to declare until after the game. I mean, I knew I wanted to and stuff and wanted to continue to play football at the next level. But um, just the way I played and stuff, and I just knew it was the right time for me and time for my family. But, uh, yeah, that was an emotional day. I mean, um, I don't want to say I feel like I got robbed, but I kind of feel like I got robbed from not playing out of my last year in my in a Wildcat uniform, and it was just kind of a, it, was, it was hard. I mean, I learned a lot about myself. Hey, Scooby, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it, and man, we can't see, can't wait to see your name called. I know a lot of people out here in Arizona are very excited to what to see what you'll be able to do at the next level. Thank you. I appreciate. it. Thank you for having me.